Good morning everybody. Happy New Year to everybody out there. I went to go look at a motorhome, a uh, 40 foot uh, American Eagle diesel pusher the other day. And I thought I'd make this video about it because you got to be careful when you're going out there looking at motorhomes. I wanted to buy a motorhome from, just like I did my other motorhome, I bought a 30 foot flare from a a uh, couple that you know they got older and like 80 years old and they took their license away so they couldn't go traveling anymore so I went and I looked at their motorhome and I bought it and I liked it and we kept it for a few years and we really enjoyed it the thing is it was a gas and it just wasn't big enough for myself my wife the dog and my mother-in-law likes to come with us so we ended up selling it I bought the van and I built the van for my road trip as you know and now I'm looking at a 40 38 to 40 foot diesel pusher so anyway this one came up on Craigslist the other day and I went to go look at it and then all of a sudden I just got a in your gut you know I had a gut feeling about this motorhome too many red flags started popping up so I'm just gonna go th through the slideshow of the pictures I took of it and let you know what uh, red flags popped up in my head and I, I decided to back out on that motorhome. So I am going up to Quartzsite to the RTR. I am going to be looking around for uh, diesel pushers while I am up there on that trip. So anyway, I hope you enjoy my little slideshow and just beware when you're going out there looking at these motorhomes. Uh, just don't get too in love with the motorhome. Uh, if your gut says no, don't buy it. Anyway, that's that's my my uh, opinion on that. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the uh, video I'm going to put together. Thanks. Okay, this is a, a 1995 American Dream uh, motorhome diesel pusher with the Cummins motor in it. Uh, don't get me wrong, this was a nice motorhome. But when I was driving it, I felt some rattles that shouldn't have been in the front end with only 79,000 miles. The registration, red flag, registration was uh, July 2017. I couldn't see any signs of this guy living in this at any, you know, real time. Uh, anyway, long story short, you know, uh, I asked, started asking him about how do you start the generator. He didn't know where the switches was. I asked him where the control panel is for the septic tanks and, and all that stuff he didn't know where that was he didn't turn on the tv he couldn't really even turn on the air conditioner he didn't know nothing about the motorhome red flags all over the place and i decided you know what this is a flipper he bought it from these older people and he's flipping it and i didn't want no part of it if I want to buy a motorhome, I want to buy it from the person that is living in it, has traveled in it, has enjoyed it to themselves, for me and my wife to go out and enjoy it. But I'm not buying a flipper. I'm not buying a flipper house. I wouldn't buy a, a flipper motorhome. But anyway, red, red flags all over. Be careful when you're shopping for these things. Another thing I noticed on uh, when I was looking at this uh, motorhome is the tires were all cracked, all six of them. Uh, the inside tire on the left side was almost flat. <clears throat> you got to be careful because uh, that's another $2,000, maybe $2,500 in tires. Uh, if the front end, uh, the steering rods and all that are worn out, you need to replace that. Uh, I also smelt uh, oil leaks uh, as I was driving it. When I got out of it, I smelt oil. That could have been from just sitting, but I did smell it. And then whenever I tried to start the generator, it took five, a little over five minutes to get it started. It is a diesel generator. When I finally got it primed and started, it was throwing out smoke. It was rough idle and it finally smoothed out. But you know what? My gut just told me to walk away from this motorhome. Uh, the deal wasn't all that great on it anyway. Uh, he, I thought when I got home, I would research the price on it. It was a little overpriced, so I'm kind of glad I walked away from it. But I, the, you know, there's so many motorhomes for sale. I'm going to hold out and uh, look for the one I really want because uh, we're going to 
go crisscrossing through the country and I need to find a nice motorhome for ourselves. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching this and uh, I want everybody to have a nice New Year's. Have a safe one, but have fun. Thank you so much again. Bye-bye.